Hello folks, time for another video and shave and happy 4th of July. I was kind of bummed out today because I went through all my shirts that I have here. I still have a lot in storage because we're rolling temporarily in this place here. Um, so a lot of my wardrobe is in storage and I was looking for a shirt that was shaving related, fishing related that had an American flag on it and then I don't have any here. I only have them in storage and I'm bummed out but it is 4th of July today, and I got my mail call in today from the group pass around from uh, Red Beer Shaves, which was from Wet Shaving Products. I got the uh, Barbershop. And I got that in two formulas. I got that in the Rustic Formula, and I have that in the Formula T. And the Formula T is tallow. And the rustic is, I believe, vegan. So I'm going to go for the rustic today. Uh, it's got that great barbershop scent. It is a very soft soap. So I'm going to, I was going to bowl out of it. I'm thinking, you know, I'm just going to put some on my brush. But this soap um, needs to stand up because I'm a big. I'm a big fan of barbershop and my favorite barbershop, so we'll see how this stands up to my favorite barbershop, which is from Sterling. And the scents between the two are different, of course, because it's a different take on barbershop, but we'll see how the wet shaving products uh, barbershop holds up. Now, before I actually start the shave, also sent along with the sample was some shave oil. So... I'm usually not a shave oil guy. I used to use shave oil in the past. So I'm going to actually put some on. And as my pre shave, it has that same scent as the soap does. Oh, yeah, and the scents of the, of the both soaps. The tallow version, you know, the uh, Formula T and the Rustic are exactly the same. So, whether it be tallow or vegan, I like that set. That's good. So, this is their little shave oil that was sent along with it there. Just going to put a little water on there, too. So hope everybody's having a good 4th of July today. I hope so. That's pretty slick, that stuff. Okay, now, um, before I get to the brush, um, I am using the Rex Ambassador today on setting number 3. And the blade I have in there is a Gillette Black, 7 o'clock you know, black which is their super platinum and I just want to make sure I am on three yes I am because sometimes I don't have the glasses on and I'm on the wrong setting sometimes okay so what I'm doing is I'm going to take the uh, rustic which is their vegan base and nice little metal tins like that and it's kind of a soft soap so I'm going to try something today I'm going to put that, let me just shake the water in my brush. I'm going to put that in my Predator brush. Just going to scoop some out. This should work because it is kind of, kind of soft. And I'll put it in there. It's not soft like a cream cream, but I think I can manage it this way. We'll see what happens. See how she goes. Let me just close that tin so I don't dump any water in there. And let's see how this goes. Might be a mistake <laughs> putting it in the brush, but we'll see. We'll see how she goes. This is the big 30 mil knot. Let's 
seems like it's building up some good lather got some water in here so it's gonna be dripping all over me Plus the mailman just delivered this so it was kind of warm. Maybe that's why the soap was kind of soft. But no problem there. And I only use a little dollop in there too, so good stuff. It has that great barbershop scent. Nice. Just got a little tiny bit on the shirt, nothing major. There were some drips, but nothing. Can't control that, you know. Clearing the lips there. All right, so I do with the razor. There it is. So we got the Rex Ambassador, Gillette Seven O'clock Black. Setting number three. That is smooth. Smooth sailing. Hope everybody's doing some barbecuing today or hanging out at the beach. Actually here in New Jersey it's actually supposed to be a good day. We actually had our fireworks in our town last night. Wish they always do a great job. All right, that was a good first pass. Like that uh, bar that barbershop scent on the wet shaving products. Some barbershop scents are uh, unique and 
some other companies the barbershop is almost the same this one is a little unique by the way the residual slickness is pretty good here feels like I still got good slickness there but I got plenty of soap on the brush there so I might as well use it and looks like that that cut I had up there is still doing fine I didn't I didn't hit it last shave and hope I don't hit it this shave even because I am using the racks but I'm only in setting three because you know I'm not one of those go up to number six kind of guys see on the next pass here So remember, this is the rustic formula. I also have formula T, but I decided to go to the rustic formula today. which I believe is our vegan, vegan base. I know a few guys from the uh, Facebook group, the Red Beard Chase group, uh, visited West uh, Wet Shaving Products. I know Josh Morris did. I know Jeremy Tyler did. When they were out in Arizona. Yeah, doing a pretty good job there. I only have a little bit. Everything else up top is pretty good. Just want to get by the chin. I am such a slob of water. I get that water all over the place. I'm actually going to empty my sink because I got those whiskers in there and I want to rinse off. 
Oh yeah, there's some whiskers in the sink. Got a little weeper, it looks like a guard there around my chin, but nothing major. That's because I was pushing that spot, but it's not a gusher. Decent slickness on that soap. Good residual, too. I didn't feel like bowl lathering it today because I was just like, ah, you know, it's not in the mood. <laughs> so I figured I'll put some of that soap in the brush and it worked out well. Let's so actually see how much of that soap is actually left in the brush. Let me just close the container. <laughs> Yeah, so that was cool. That was the barbershop from uh, Wet Shaving Products, products WSP. And that was the Rustic Base Shaving Soap, the barbershop. Great barbershop scent. And in the brush, because I just put the soap in the brush, because it was a little soft. I'm sure it's a little harder once it's cold, but Postman just delivered it not too long ago, so it was a little... So off, so I just put it in the brush and went to town. And there's still probably lots in there. <laughs> so, yeah. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> nice slick soap. Great barbershop scent. And like I said, I just put that soap inside the brush today. Didn't bowl out of it or didn't grab it from the puck. Wouldn't grab it from the puck anyway because the soap was a little too soft. So this big 30 mil would have sucked up most of that soap in that in that tin. So just rinsing out the brush just so I can. I always like to show you the knot in this brush because it's that big 30 mil that Josh Morris sent me that does a great job in that brush. Holds a lot of water that 30 millimeter. And it's got that synthetic tuxedo knot. beast you think originally this brush had a 26 mil so I still got some soap on there I'm gonna have soap on my towel that's weird got a clump of soap there Must have been stuck to my towel somehow. Weird. Sorry about that. Like I was telling you, there we go. Beauty. Like I said, I think I had a 26 millimeter in here before. Um, great big fat handle. Josh sent me that 30 mil knot. Just honed it out. Slightly didn't have to hone it that much. Box it in there. It, the brush, the handle was turned by Rich Man Brushes. It's one of my favorite colors. Along with that Craving Shaving Brush. With those awesome colors too. I like that. Green and black. I like green and black in the in my shaving brushes. Just my color. 
In fact, this knot is so fat that sometimes I gotta squeeze the knot to put it in my brush holder. <laughs> That's an awesome knot in there. It's a beast. In fact, I'll actually put it over there and let it dry. Actually, I just squirted my whole mirror. Not that you guys can see that, but it's distracting on my end. Alrighty, so now my face is dry. Oh, and it's nice and smooth too. I have two things I'm going to put on my face, along with that awesome soap from West Shave. Well, wet shaving products. Also, I have the matching aftershave. And I'm going to just put a little bit of that on, just for the scent. It's got a nice restrictor in it. That smells just like the soap. The wife isn't home yet, but we'll see if uh, she likes it. And I'll, like I said, that was the matching aftershave. Mm, good stuff. And I'm also going to put on, they also have an aftershave bomb in the barbershop. And I like this little cool pump that they have here. It's a cool little pump. I just took a little dollop. Put it in my hand. I'll put that on my face too. I always, I always put my bomb in after my aftershave because I don't want the aftershave to wash off the bomb. That's just the way that I do it. I know some other people do it differently, but it's to each his own. But it's got a good scent too. That's got a good scent. Spot on with the the scents matching the soaps. Sometimes you get an artisan soap and then you get their aftershave or bomb and a lot of times the aftershave smells way stronger than the soap and in this case this is uh oh forgot some bomb right there this is a nice spot on match I'm trying to put that little stopper back in there's a little stopper that goes in here there we go and that was the matching aftershave bomb from wet shaving products Well, my skin feels super plush. Awesome deal. Well, that's some good product there from WSP Wet Shaving Products. And like I said, I have that in both formulas. Today I used uh, the Rustic, which this is the Rustic formula. And I also have the formula T which is the tallow and I'll do this next shave but this was enjoyable nice great scent beautiful and the razor like I said was the uh, Rex Ambassador I can't actually grip it gonna take the blade out but my hands are a little slippery but that was the Rex Ambassador on number three let me actually put this down for a second I'll wipe my hands because it was a little slippery there and blade wise now there's no overhang on this razor by the way if anybody ever wants to know there is the Gillette Super Platinum in there which is the 7 o'clock black Another one of my favorite blades. I have so many favorite blades all of a sudden. Been liking those chroma blades. 
still like my Gillette 7 o'clock blacks and the Balzano's. In fact, I'm going to have to shave with the Balzano's soon because I've been neglecting that blade. So, like I said, that was a Gillette 7 o'clock black, the Super Platinum's there. Good blade. Alright folks, so uh, if you like the shave, or you like the video I mean, please give me a thumbs up. Or like I said last video, if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. I could take it. And then if you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. And uh, everybody have an awesome, safe 4th of July. And I'll catch you guys in the next shave. So, Glenn signing out.